Why is it so hard to stick to a diet? Food delivery options and late night snack cravings make us more prone to giving up. Sticking to a simple, healthy diet can seem like an impossible mission. At least that's how it can feel. In fact, the vast majority of diet plans and New Year resolutions fail, and 97% of dieters regain all the weight they lost. With so many types of cuisines and food ordering apps, we simply cannot resist the tasty meals. But it is important to know that our ability to control our diet is largely influenced by evolutionary, genetic, and social factors. Some people can stick to a healthy diet with ease, while others struggle after a few days or weeks. The reason for this discrepancy might lie in the brain's anatomy. Apparently, people who have more gray matter, the neuron-rich brain layer, show more control over their diets. But why do we crave unhealthy food in the first place? Our body has developed a complex digestive system to monitor what we eat. Our gut has an intricate nervous system that works somewhat autonomously. It is even called a second brain. Appetite and the sense of satisfaction are controlled by an interplay of hormones, ghrelin and leptin. These hormones, together with blood sugar levels, signal our brain when to eat and when to stop. When left to the gut, this balancing process is quite simple. But eating is tightly linked to emotions and, therefore, the brain. When we eat something we like, our brain is flooded by dopamine, which is the happiness hormone. Obviously, dopamine will motivate us to eat more of that food. Most of our unhealthy eating habits and addiction to food are a result of our brain's reward system getting involved. The pleasure we get from eating is similar to what we feel when taking an addictive drug. The reward system is essentially neuronal circuits that release pleasure hormones when activated. For example, sugar can activate these circuits. The dangerous part is that reward seeking can override warnings from the body in cases like binge eating. But why in the world would our brains favor binge eating in the first place? Our ancestors lived in food scarce environments and needed to stock up to survive. They would eat more food, especially high calorie carbohydrates and fatty foods. In other words, the brain evolved over time to favor these patterns and reward us for sticking to them. But in modern societies, these unhealthy habits became more linked to pleasure instead of survival. Salt, for example, acts as a natural antidepressant. Although eating a lot of salt leads to high blood pressure as well as heart and kidney problems, most people prefer adding salt to their meals. Experiments in animals show that eating too little salt leads to depression-like symptoms. Our ancestors' diets were low in sodium, and therefore the brain learned to reward salt intake. In the modern world, however, salt is abundant, making this behavior dangerous for our health. Nevertheless, our brain tries to do a sensible job controlling what we eat. For example, the hypothalamus regulates eating based on calorie intake, but other parts of the brain tip off the balance. Social and environmental factors also influence our eating behaviors. For example, easy access to junk food makes it harder for our brain to exercise control. Genes also play a role. For instance, certain mutations are more abundant in the DNA of obese people. Have you ever tried sticking to a healthier diet? What did you do to find success? Share your thoughts in the comment section.